two weeks, 30 youths were learning about robotics and computer programming on the south side. It is a new kind of camp for children who aren't really exposed to this kind of technology. And that is why facilitator Douglas Griffith wants these children to be more than just consumers of tech. He wants to see them become creators. He explains what they're learning in this introductory program. Coding is, is in demand right now. For uh, Everything is run by computers, so to be able to program these computers is very important. And so what we want to do is we want to get the kids involved as early as possible to learn the technology. So the camp is divided into two weeks. You know, the first week, the kids actually learn how to build a robot, because we use the robot as a tool to teach the coding. So the first week, they assembled and built their robots. They work in teams. They built it from scratch. And then now they have functioning robots. And then the second week, they learn the coding. So they learn how to make the robot do the things they want to do. We have competition every day where they program the robot to do certain things like stacking cubes or moving things across a playing field. And it's, it's done in a competitive nature. So they have teams. They collaborate with each other to determine how's the best way to do the code so that they have a, be a better advantage, advantage of winning. 11-year-old Kelsey Cadle and 14-year-old Sakoni Bab are two of the participants in the camp. The people in there are so fun and happy to deal with. They, give, they encourage us to do what we want to do and be what we want to be. Is this the first time you're learning about robotics? Yes, Mom. The first time, I, this is the first time, but it's really fun. Was it hard? Was it challenging for you? No, Mom. It, it was a little because some of them I didn't understand that much. So now, do you have an idea if this is something you'd like to do as a career that you'd like to follow when you, when you get older? Yes, well, it's really fun and, it, and sometimes it can be good for our community because technology is a big deal for our country. So you have any particular robot that you'd like to build? Um, I think I would want to build a car that can fly. Car that can fly. You don't want to make one that's going to help you clean your house and do my homework. It's a good experience for all of us here in Belize. Um, it's educational and it teaches us everything that we need to know to help us in the future. Um, coding and robotics. It's kind of hard, but as soon as you get into the knowing and um, doing of the aspect of robotics then you could you get the understanding and it becomes easier is this an area that you perhaps would like to pursue when you're older as a career oh yes it's very fun and um it's it's i feel like i could do more in it and i could do better in the future griffith says that while the participants are learning about coding and robotics they're also strengthening and acquiring skills that can be applied in everyday life. The kids are picking up a lot of things that they're not even aware of. They learn how to, how to solve problems. When you, do, when you write a code and you tell the computer to do something, it doesn't always work. So now you have to go back and figure out what was wrong, how, what change you could make to, 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 to make it work. So you could, apply, you could apply that to anything in life. Coding in itself teaches you how to think. That's, that's the biggest advantage of coding. Coding also requires uh, thing being done in sequence. So you have to be logical. It's like when you when you're baking a cake, for example, there's certain steps you have to do. Same thing with coding. You know, you can't just tell the computer to do something. You have to, you have to tell it exactly each step, step by step, how to do it. Reporting for News Five, I'm Andrea Polanco.